Welcome back. So this week I need to make a much more progress on the engine. So as you can see here, I'm putting the ends on these uh, cables for the battery that go between the battery and the starter and the alternator. So I'm just uh, using that heat gun there to, to uh, put the shrink wrap there on there to seal those off. Uh, anyway, so while you're watching that, I'll give you a bit more of an update. So the rest of this week, um, we have Les coming down from German Diesel Motor Works. He's going to install our new high pressure fuel, fuel pump for us. And uh, then next week on the engine, uh, Ed's going to be coming by and taking some calibration off of the uh, camshaft and crankshaft sensors. And then the week after that, so basically two weeks from now, we're hoping to have um, the guys or guy from Motec come down uh, with our harness that should be complete and our ECU and um, actually attempt to start the engine. So that's kind of exciting. So stay tuned for that um, over the coming weeks and you'll see more progress as I put all the different pieces together in preparation for have those guys uh, come uh, to start it. So anyway. And yeah, meanwhile the guys are making good progress on these um, plugs for the wing spars. So that one that they're working on right now, by the end of today that was basically finished in terms of sanding and, and going on to waxing uh, tomorrow and the other one is not far behind it so possibly by the end of the week it should be uh, getting ready to pull the first mold off of one of those and Jeff has gone and uh, trimmed the uh, edges of that second door frame that was laid up there I think it was the week before last or something and he's got these uh, hard point blocks there he's basically trimmed those so we just got to sort of five minute those and then test fit that into the door frame and Brit stopped by this morning uh, bringing the engine mount back to us and so you can see he's welded up all these tabs in there, those are the ones that hold uh, the belt drive system in place. So they're now all locked into place and he also uh, welded in those new cross braces uh, that we needed to stop that sort of uh, left right harmonic that was um, apparent in the uh, in the frame and that's actually fixed the problem now, um, now that we have the engine mount which you'll see in a second. And he also had to put this little V in there in the bottom because um, unfortunately we didn't realize this LPEX thing that we have the adapter was going to be as big as it was. And because it was so large it uh, was impeding there or bumping into that part of the frame so we had to put that V in there. But uh, that's the trials that you have when you're prototyping something. Anyway, it's working out nicely. And the guys over at Preferred drilled the th three holes in that small pulley for me and so I got that mounted now to the water pump pulley. And so the next process now is to align the uh, governor controller um, adapter plate. And so there's, there's a kind of holding, that's it there, you've seen it before. It's kind of mocked in the place where it's going to be there, sort of sitting up against what is normally the power steering pump mount on the engine. You can see it lines up nicely with that pulley there if I kind of get the camera lined up so it's in the same plane. And we might have to shim it just a little bit there, but basically it's uh, going to work kind of where it is there. And so what I need to do is um, I have a block now of, of uh, three inch wide and half inch, I think it's no one inch thick or three quarter thick uh, aluminum there. So I'm going to have to basically fabricate a bracket out of that and I'm just going to create a template to figure out exactly how it's going to be. But it's going to bolt to that thing and then bolt to the other one. So that's another project coming up. And speaking of projects, uh, this is one of the main gear legs there, the black one that's sort of with the drills on right now, the, the end mills on. And uh, so when we bought these legs, we didn't really know exactly how we were going to be attaching the um, ro the retraction mechanism. So we've got this bracket there that has four holes in it that is going to be bolted up to that. So anyway, just know the whole pattern now and we're just using the machine and just uh, running it by hand. You see I'm just slowly lowering it down and uh, Jeff's uh, clearing the all this, the shrapnel sort of coming off that and at the same time sort of um, putting some more oil in there. Anyway, we've got those four done and uh, we just had to ream um, the holes a little bit as well with a reamer uh, because the AN bolts that we're using are very snug fit so you need, everything needs to be pretty close tolerance and these are 3 eighths of an inch uh, in diameter so they're with the reamer and um, then uh, the bolt goes in. So anyway, that's one done and uh, we're going to do the other one probably sometime tomorrow. And the upper and lower shafts for our belt drive system came back from heat treating. You see, and you can see now that they kind of have more of a nickel look to them. The shiny chrome look is all gone. Uh, but anyway, they've been heat treated there now. So um, to the spec that we needed from uh, Mark who did our CAD for that. And back to the engine. Obviously, there's still a lot of things that have to go back on it now that it's back in the frame. Uh, but the goal is here to get the uh, high pressure pump in there tomorrow. And then after that, I can start putting all the things on from the top. So the intake and 
all the turbos and pipes and everything like that. But anyway, in the meantime, there's a, a electrical cables hooked up to the starter there and also to the alternator, and those are bolted into place and grounded. I still need to, you know, use some cable ties or ties just to tidy everything up there. And we've got it running to our little battery there. It's a tiny little battery, it weighs 21 pounds, but it's got 1,300 cranking amps in there, which is, should be plenty for that. And uh, here's a gauges thing just uh, installed in there. So you saw that uh, last week. Anyway, so I got that all sorted out now, and I can turn it on. And um, let's see uh, what happens when I turn the key. So that's exciting, and we also hit 950 deposits today. Uh, anyway, that's our update for the first half of this weekend. Thanks again for watching.